For this question, we have 1 minus sine x and then times 1 plus sine x, right? We have two ways to do this. The first way is you can use the formula to multiply this out, and that's the difference of squares formula. But I will show you guys the other way, which is you can just go ahead and follow this out, right? To convince you guys that the formula is correct. Anyways, I will just go ahead and do 1 times 1, which is going to be 1, and then 1 times sine x is going to be plus sine x, right? And then we'll continue, we'll take this times that. This is negative sine x times 1, so that's negative sine x, and then negative sine x times positive sine x, it will be minus sine square x. And as you can see, this and that cancel out, sine x minus sine x, just 0. So in other words, we all have 1 minus sine square x. That's all we have, right? And this is not one of the answer choices, but we know 1 minus sine square x is the same as cosine square x. As I said, this is the identity that we have to remember really, really well. And this is answer choice A, and that's it.